Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And finally, the third blood vessel is capillary. So capillaries are like very thin vessels. They are the thinnest tube-like structures which carry blood. So they have extremely thin walls. Now the arteries which we discussed about, the arteries branches out to form thinner tubes called arterioles and these arterioles further branches out to form even thinner tubes called capillaries. And these capillaries again join together to form venules and the venules in turn form veins and the veins form vena cava. So just let us look at this entire structure here. So this red colored structure, now wherever in the picture you see the red lines, they represent the arteries which carry oxygenated blood. And wherever you see the blue lines, they represent veins which carry deoxygenated blood. But these arteries and veins, they are also linked to each other in some way. And this is how it is. So you see this is artery. These arteries branches out to form thinner tubes called arterioles. And these arterioles in turn again branches out to even more thinner tubes called capillaries as you can see here. And again in this side also the veins they branch out to form venules. And the venules in turn further branches out to form capillaries. So that is why we have the valves in the veins so that the deoxygenated blood do not flow in the opposite direction so that the mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood should not take place. So this picture actually tells you that uh, both arteries as well as veins, they also uh, branch out to form very thin uh, blood vessels and these thin blood vessels are called capillaries. So capillaries are those blood vessels where exchange of gases or exchange of nutrients, ex exchange of excretory products, all these take place because they have very thin walls. So exchange of substances become very easy. So they have extremely thin walls and this helps in exchange of various substances, whether it is exchange of gases or exchange of food products or exchange of waste materials. So everything becomes easy. So now that we have discussed both about arteries and veins, let us have a quick comparison between the two. So when you talk about arteries, they carry blood from heart to different body parts. In case of veins, it is just the opposite. They carry from different body parts to the heart. Arteries, they carry oxygenated blood. The only exception is pulmonary artery. Veins carry deoxygenated blood. Again, the only exception is pulmonary vein. Arteries, they have thick walls and why do they have thick walls because blood in arteries flow at a very high pressure because they have been pumped out from the heart but in case of veins they have very thin walls because here blood flow at a comparatively lower pressure in arteries no valves are present because it, it uh, deals with oxygenated blood so it doesn't matter even if there is little bit of backflow. But in case of veins, they deal with deoxygenated blood which contains carbon dioxide and that is not desired by the cells. So it is important to stop the backflow of deoxygenated blood and that is why valves are present in case of veins. So these are some of the differences between arteries and veins. So by now I hope you got to understand that what is blood, what is it made up of and how is blood carried inside our body in the blood vessels. So how the entire concept of closed circulatory system works, I think that should be clear by now. So now we are going to talk about something again which is very interesting that is pulse. Now have you ever observed that you can feel something vibrating when you touch your wrist? So what is that rhythmic movement that you can feel? If you touch near your neck, again, you can feel the same vibration. So just try this out right now while you are watching this video. Just touch your wrist and just press it, not very hard, but yes, decently hard. And you'll be able to feel a vibration. Similarly, when you touch the this portion in your neck where this here the picture is pointing so touch somewhere here and you will again be able to feel a rhythmic vibration so that rhythmic throbbing which you can feel is called pulse now why am i suddenly talking about pulse because this vibration is because of the flow of blood through the 
arteries now when the blood flows through the arteries now since the blood is flowing under very high pressure so the arteries which have elastic walls they tend to contract and relax as the blood moves through it so that contraction and relaxation of the arteries is felt as a rhythmic vibration and that is what is felt as a as pulse so pulse is due to the movement of blood or due to the flow of blood in the arteries so what is pulse rate that is the number of pulse beats in one minute so if you just touch this area either your wrist or your neck and you just try to count the number of time it moves in one minute you will be able to see that uh, it it comes around normally 72 to 80 times per minute so that is the normal pulse rate for human beings. Now it doesn't turn out to be exactly the same for everybody. So it varies but it lies within this range of 72 to 80. However, while performing heavy uh, activities, for example, while doing exercise or while some physical activity or playing, what happens is the heart has to pump extra blood. So heart pumps extra blood to provide more oxygen to the muscles because as I said when we do exercise we need more energy. From where do, does the energy comes? It comes from oxidation of food. So basically for oxidation of food oxygen is needed and oxygen is supplied by the blood. So during exercise the heart pumps little fast, faster so that more oxygen is actually supplied to the cells. Therefore the pulse rate increases, the breathing rate also increases so that we can take in more oxygen oxygen so but otherwise under normal conditions the pulse rate is around 72 to 80 beats per minute that it might increase and goes beyond 80 while during heavy exercise or playing thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again